And from all the actions, it was clear that Mr. Speaker was in the know of whatever they were going to do. So he just called uh, Atuforsen, Dr. Atuforsen, and he came out with this thing. We argued it, and unfortunately, Mr. Speaker announced that he was going to give a ruling on Thursday. When he had assured me that he wasn't going to give a ruling, but because of the court process uh, and all that, he was going to wait so that we all abide by the, by the reasoning of the court. Because according to him, the matter was a constitutional matter. So for me, it was a big surprise that Mr. Speaker would go out of his way to make a ruling, which immediately made the NDC proclaim themselves to be majority. Although he himself continued to address me as a majority leader. Fast forward. We came to court. The court intervened. And now the new argument of Mr. Speaker was that he didn't give a ruling. He only gave an opinion. He expressed a view on the matter. He met us on Tuesday, the 22nd of October, at a pre-sitting meeting. And at a pre-sitting meeting, I told Mr. Speaker that, well, you are saying you have received the court process and that you have not declared the NDC the majority. Now that they are sitting on our seat, what are you going to do, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker told me that that is the responsibility of the, of the clerk. He later repeated the same thing to the Council of State and the Peace Council. The clerk to Parliament made sure that he had arranged our seat, the majority caucus, our seat, on, at where we are supposed to sit, the right of Mr. Speaker. Place our name tax there. The NDC came to remove them. Mr. Speaker was aware of this. He watched and continued with the proceedings. Where I think Mr. Speaker failed the nation and failed our democracy. And I do so with utmost respect. Some of the NDC guys are trying to suggest that my ex me ex expressing my view on his conduct amount to disrespect. Let me state it clear. That I will be the last person, I repeat, I, Kwame Afenyo Market, will be the last person to disrespect Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker should not think that he's a king. He's an emperor. He's not an emperor. He's a democrat. Therefore, he shouldn't be too sensitive to divergent views and opposing views. What he's doing, in all humility, is wrong. So my friends in the NDC should open their eyes and ask themselves, if they were the ones at the receiving end, how would they react? The NDC would have raised hell on this matter. But we have been calm in all of these.